Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you, Sonia? Fine, teacher. Ayer tuve problemas con, lo, con el teléfono. No sé qué me pasó. Really? <laughs> okay, oh. don't worry, Sonia. No se preocupe, a veces pasa. Es el internet o el teléfono. It depends. Okay. But it's very good to have you in class again. Welcome back. Let me see, what about Dinora? Hi, Dinora, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Excellent, very good to see you. Well, very good to have you because I don't see you. Let's see, who else? Hi, Lisette, good evening. Hello. Okay, maybe you are talking, Lizette, but I can't hear you. Okay, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to have you in class, all right? And it's a pleasure to see you. Let's see, today we are going to work on section three. We are also going to do a review about topics learned before, right? You can't miss it. That's the topic from that section. We are in class number six. So let's get started. Let me see. Let's go with this. As per usual, you know that I do have some uh, questions that I try to respond, right, during the class. So let's see, we have these ones. Esto es como un calentamiento para ustedes, all right? Más bien un recalling previous learning para ver de qué nos acordamos de lo que ya aprendimos. So let me go with, we have number one, mention at least three parts of the body. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Dino Hernandez, tell me three parts of the body, please. Nose, mm -hmm. head, and chin. Chin, very good, excellent, that's correct. Very good, let's go with Sonia del Transito, number two, mention at least three common medications. Medication, oh, um, aspirin, antiacid, um, only. <laughs> okay, what about muscle cream? Uh, muscle cream. Hey, that's the yeah. term. Cold, cold pills. Uh -huh. uh, cold pills, uh -huh. very good. Eye um, drops. Eye drops, uh huh. Okay, excellent, Sonia. Very good. Thank you, right? Let me go with number three. Mention at least three places, all right? Do you remember that yesterday we saw places like bank? What else, Patricia? A bank, a department store, a drugstore, a restaurant. A restaurant, very good. Thank you, Patricia. All right, everybody, por favor, no se nos olvide que Luego de participar hay que cerrar los micrófonos, all right? Yo comprendo que a veces quizás estamos haciendo otra cosita y no hay problema, right? Pero sí hay que cerrar los micrófonos porque algunos participantes del grupo tienen headphones y si hay mucho eco o un feedback muy fuerte, les puede dañar a ellos los oídos, all right? So, let's continue. Number four, what are nouns? Ya para finalizar la clase de ayer solo vimos eso, right? What are nouns? Let me see, Verónica Esmeralda, what are nouns? Is 
uh, animals, objects, person. I don't remember. No, you're good. Excellent. Thank you. Things, objects, uh, people, right? Excellent, Veronica. Very good. All right. So with that, let's get started. Let's see a review, a short review about yesterday's topic. What are nouns? Let's see. Let me go with Fatima Guardado. Fatima, can you please read the information? A noun equal a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are around you are nouns. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Let's go with Miguel Navarro. Can you please read the same information? See. Okay, maybe you're busy. Let me go with Mayra Lopez. Mayra, can you please read this information? Permítame. Um, yeah, sure. que lo lea? Yes. Okay. Uh, I know. ¿Verdad? A noun. I know. A noun. A noun. A person. A place. Or a thing. In other words. Many, many things that you see around. You are known. Exactly. Thank you, Mayra. Very good. Thank you. All right. Listen, cuando los pongo a leer el mismo por mismo parrafito, por dos líneas que sean, por una que sea, y los pongo a leer hasta tres o cuatro personas, no es porque lo hagan mal. Lo hago para que de tanto repetirlo se nos quede algo, right? Y no solo lo tengamos en el cuerno, sino que lo mantengamos aquí. So that's the reason why. Let me go with the last person in this paragraph. Um, Sonia del Tránsito, please. Read it. A noun equal a person, a place, or a thing. Mm -hmm. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Exactly. Thank you. Right? I think it's pretty clear by now what nouns are. Right? So let's move on. What are compound nouns? That's the main key in here, right? Compound nouns. Now listen, actually the topic is compound nouns, but we need to know what nouns are indeed, right? To learn the difference between compound nouns. Let me have, I'm going to read it first. You just pay attention and then I will ask somebody to read it for me. Okay, here we go. A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually a noun plus a noun. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word. Okay, let's go with Alba Aguilar. Albita, can you please read the information? Okay, maybe she's, her a microphone is not working or she's not in the class. I, no. Sorry, I, I was talking. Um, what are compound nouns? Mm -hmm. A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word. Excellent, Alvita. Thank you so much. Very good reading. Let me go with 
pero como se dice trabalenguas, que eso parece un trabalenguas. Uh -huh. Tongue twister. Tongue twister, ok. Yeah. I know, it sounds like that porque tiene muchas veces la palabra compound. No, uh -huh. no. <laughs> It's true. Ok, thank you. Let me see. Let's go with Lisette Montoya. Lisette, can you please read the information again? Ok, what are compound nouns? A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation, compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word. Excellent, thank you. Very good, said. Excellent, and the last person, just to emphasize the information that we already handled, right? Let me go with Patricia Lopez, please. What the compound nouns? A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more or more words. A compound noun is usually noun plus noun. Pronunciation. Compound nouns tend to have more stress on the first word. Excellent, thank you. Very good, all right, everybody? With this, we have all the information that we need to work in this uh, practice time, right? Because this is practice for you. Let's see, let me ask you, do you remember what a stress is? ¿Qué sería el estrés para nosotros? La fuerza. Exactly, exactly, very good. El énfasis. Emphasis, that's correct, very good. O también lo que nosotros hacemos como de caída, basically, es que nosotros tenemos el apostrofe, no, no es apostrofe, es tilde, right? To give emphasis to some words. So they don't have that, but I, they do have the stress. And for them, it's really important in this language, in English language, it's really important that you handle the stress of the words, right? So uh, let's see, we have post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Ojo en esta palabra, no es departamental, no es department, no, no es department, es department store all right department store let's go one more time post office gas station restroom coffee shop drugstore supermarket bookstore department store now it's your time let me go with Miguel Navarro, let's see Miguel, are you here? Okay, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent, thank you so much Miguel. Let's go with Maritza Rivera. <laughs> Post office, mm -hmm. gas station, waste room, coffee shop, drug store, supermarket, book store, department store. Excellent. Thank you, Maritza. Let's go with Veronica Esmeralda, please. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Very good, department store. Excellent. Let's go with Dinora Hernandez, please. Post office, gas station, restroom. Coffee shop, drugstore, 
supermarket, bookstore, department <laughs> store. Excellent. Dinora, repeat after me, please. Drugstore. Drugstore. Excellent. Thank you, Dinora. Very good. Let's go with Fatima Guardado, please. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent. Thank you. Jose Vega, your turn. Uh, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent, very good. Sonia del Tránsito, please. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent, thank you, Sonia. Mayra López, your turn. Okay, and post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, and bookstore, e and department store. Excellent, thank you, Marita. Very good, department store. Elizabeth Campos, please. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Excellent, thank you, department store. Let's see, Patricia Lopez. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Thank you. And let's see, Ana Gloria, please. Hello. No, Anita, I can't hear you. Se ve que tiene el micrófono encendido, pero yo no la escucho. Bueno, no le escuchamos el audio. Ahora post sí. Post office, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, thank bien? you. Yes. Está bien. Yes. Aquí solamente, Anita, puede repetir usted department store. store. Department store. Department store. Department store. Very good, thank you, excellent. Jolie Garcia, your turn. Hi, Jolie, are you there? Okay, maybe she's not. Let me see, who else do we have? Jancy Jimenez, please tell me the vocabulary. Post office, gas station, red room, coffee shop, bookstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Thank you, excellent. And listen, Montoya, you haven't passed, right? Uh, post office, gas station, red room, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore department store all right excellent thank you so much everybody it was a pleasure to hear you actually practicing and i noticed that we are doing so much better now all right practice is the key my dear friends all right so no matter what even though it might sound like the same over and over again you have to practice and that's the key that's the only way in which you can learn the vocabulary and the language, okay? So let's see, we have a conversation. 
It's across from the park. Now listen, today we're going to see prepositions of place. We're going to have the conversation first. Then we are going to practice with some vocabulary and then we are going to practice with a real map. Okay, so let me move on. Let's listen to the conversation. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. All right, so there you have it. Let's see, we're going to practice with this, with this conversation. Let's see, let's work in pairs, of course. Let me have Maritza Rivera, you are woman, and Jose Vega, you are man. Action. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is, in, is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My need a restroom. Will there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street? Where on Main Street? Is on the corner of Main and Fierce Avenue. On the corner in Main and Fierce. Yes. Is across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. That was pretty good. Let me go with Lisette Montoya. You are man. And Jancy Jimenez, you are woman. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Is on the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Bravo, girls. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Elizabeth Campos, you are a woman, and Miguel Navarro, you are a man. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it is. Across from the park, you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you, very good. Now, let me go with Dinora Hernandez. You are men and um, Fat, no, 
Fatima, you already passed, right? Usted ya pasó. Let me see. And Mayra Lopez, you are a woman. Yeah. Yeah, action. <laughs> Excuse me, can you hear me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry. I don't this I don't this so. Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there is rest restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where are where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Thanks a lot, All right? Let me go with Veronica Esmeralda. Veronica, you haven't passed. Todavía no pasado, ¿verdad? No. Okay, and you will go with Alba Aguilar. Veronica, you are men. Alvita, you are woman. Action. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaur restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where, where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Excellent, thank you, very good. Now, let me see. Am I missing somebody? Felipe, Felipe Rios. Felipe, you are a man. And let me see. Sonia del Tránsito, you are a woman. Action. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, can you hear me? Is there a public restroom around here? Sonia del Tránsito. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Tenía inactivo el, el, el micrófono. El micrófono, okay. <laughs> okay. A public, a public restroom. Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there are a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. All right, excellent guys, thank you. Let me check. Am I missing someone in this conversation? Me hace falta alguien de pasar en esta conversation. ¿Por qué les pido que practiquen ahorita? Porque vamos a un fin de semana. Viernes ustedes no tienen clase. Sábado y domingo no tienen, right? De su descanso. Entonces, en ese tiempo, si trabajan en la plataforma, practican. Y si no, pues no practican. Entonces, lo mejor es hacerlo en el classroom. ¿Hay alguien que me falte? Yo, teacher. Who is Joe? <laughs> Let's see. Carla. Ah, okay, Carlita. Let me see, Carlita. You are going to be woman. And let me look for a man. Creo que también no, hay... Okay, excellent. Thank you, Felipe. Action. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? 
Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son is at restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on the main street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and Third Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, Carlita, very good. And thank you, Felipe, for your collaboration, all right? Now, let's get into the business, my friends, all right? Let's see, prepositions of place. The purpose of this conversation was to listen carefully to the pronunciation of prepositions of place, but at the same time, the purpose was for you to practice your pronunciation, your fluency, all right? Because learning a language not only means to talk slow every day, Time. No, you have to keep a fluency, all right? Keep it into the mood so that the other person is going to understand what you are saying. So let's see, we have prepositions of place. We have on, which is number one, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. Okay, let me tell you something, all right? Yo se las he separado aquí por si ustedes querían copiar el vocabulary. Ya les voy a mostrar la picture que aparece en la plataforma con este mismo vocabulario, pero pues yo dije, tal vez lo quieren tener en el notebook, lo saco aparte, all right? So you can copy this as well if you want, okay? Just let me know when you're finished. Solamente el número cuatro es NETX o NXT. No, it's next. Así, next. Ok. ¿Qué significa? All right, let me see. Ya me entró duda. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. Thank you, girls. Very good. I missed it. Excellent. ¿Qué significa? Let me see who asked that. ¿Quién me preguntó esto? Ana Gloria. Oh, okay. oh, All right. Next to significa a la par, right? Next to. On es encima. A ver, on es una preposición que solemos utilizar cuando colocamos cosas, right? On the desk, on the table, right? Es encima. Pero, uh, exactly. Pero también se utiliza para dar eh, localización o una dirección, en todo caso, right? Más que todo localización, porque estamos diciendo a dónde queda tal lugar, right? Un hospital, un post office. Y on the corner of, on the corner of, es en la esquina sobre cierta calle en específico, right? Vamos a ver, creo que aquí en la conversation les aparece. On the corner of main and first, en la esquina que está sobre la primera y la calle principal, la calle principal y la primera, all right? Now, we have across from. Across from es cuando ustedes cruzan, all right? Supongamos que yo tengo un shopping mall aquí y tengo una post office aquí. Entonces, si yo me paso del shopping mall al post office, caminando o cruzando, right? Eso es across from. Luego tenemos next to, que es a la par, ese ahí no nos perdemos, next to. Y between. Between S S and Medi, all right? Como, between. Sorry. Repeat, repeat between. pronunciation. Ah, the pronunciation. All right. On, on the corner of, 
Across from. Next to. Me dicen si voy muy rápido, right? <laughs> Para bajarle la intensidad. Next to. Between. Between. Chica. Between. Mm -hmm. Between, exactly. ¿Qué significa? Between es en medios, Anita. En, para tener, para hacer uso de esta preposición, tenemos que tener dos lugares, porque es en medio. All right. Básicamente son tres lugares. El lugar que está en medio de otros dos. Okay. Ahí voy a decir between. Inclusive, supongamos que tengo un juego de llaves que está en medio de una mesa y un desktop. All right. Entonces yo puedo decir, eh, the keys are between the desktop and the table. All right? Tengo que tener dos posiciones para decir cuál es la que está en medio. Ok, let me go, let's see. Ok, if you already copied this, let's move on to the other business that we have. <laughs> Prepositions of place. De aquí es donde yo les saqué estas que están aquí, all right? Son las mismas. Sí quiero mencionarles algo. Hay otras prepositions of place, pero la platform nos da estas cinco y hay que pegarnos por el momento, hay que pegarnos a esa. Tal vez más adelante nos muestran las otras y las vamos utilizando, right? Si no, también en otros niveles van a volver a ver las prepositions of place desde otro ángulo. Así que es bueno que hasta ahorita solo nos den cinco. All right? Let me see. We have the department store is on Main Street. On Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Right? Are we good? Vuelvo, las repito y después me las van a decir ustedes, porque después vamos a hacer una practice y si quiero que vayamos bien con este vocabulary. The department store is on Main Street. Ahorita no estoy mostrando el mapa, ya lo vamos a ver, right? It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. All right, miren, para, la misma, para el mismo lugar que estoy hablando del department store, estoy dando tres diferentes direcciones, porque eso es posible. Para una, desde el ángulo de una persona puede ser que esté enfrente de un lugar, right? Para el ángulo de otra persona puede ser que esté adelante de o cruzando una calle, right? Entonces puede variar de, de acuerdo al ángulo de las personas. And then we have, it's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Then the restaurant, right? Now, let me go with some of you. Let me start with Jose Vega. Jose, can you please tell me these three sentences? Okay. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. Is that it across uh, from in the park? Excellent, thank you. Kenya Menjivar, please tell me this other two. It's next to the bank. Mm -hmm. The bank is between the department, department store and the restaurant. Excellent, thank you. Veronica Esmeralda, tell me this other three, please. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. Excellent. Thank you, Veronica. Maritza Rivera, please. Um, it's, ne it's next to the bank. The bank is between department store in the restaurant. Right, thank you. Let's go with Miguel Navarro, please. Mm. 
Let's see. If not, let's have Felipe Rios, please. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Miguel. Action. The department store is on May Street. It's on the corner of May and First. It's across from the park. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Lisette Montoya, please. Let's see, it said, are you in here? Okay. A veces le repito dos veces el nombre o tres porque puede que tengamos el micrófono apagado, right? Y estemos hablando. So let me see, Felipe Rios, can you help me? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, is next to the bank, the bank is between the department, the store, and the restaurant. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Carla Patricia, please tell me the sentences. The post office is between the restaurant and the drugstore. The church is next to the park. And the gas station is on uh, 25th Avenue. All right, se nos adelantó, Patricia. <laughs> Okay, very good, thank you. Let me go with Mari, no, Maritza, you already passed. Gabriela Choto, please. The department store is on May Street. It's on the corner of May and First. It's across for the park. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, Elizabeth Campos, please. Just these two sentences. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. That's correct, thank you, right? Hemos hecho esta práctica y les he pedido a muchos que practiquen con lo mismo porque ya les va a tocar a ustedes hacer el contenido. Y entonces quería que estuvieran seguros de cómo se controla esto, cómo se maneja, para que ya lo puedan hacer viendo un mapa. All right. Tenemos dos prácticas para este día. Una va a ser con preguntas y la otra solo son sentences. Okay. En este caso, let me check. Vamos a hacer las sentences. Aquí tengo, voy a hacer esto pequeñito. Ok. Here we go. Tenemos esto. Miren, the gas station is on First Avenue. Right? The post office is on Center Street. Right? Now, esas son unas sentences parecidas a las, que, a las que ustedes tienen que crear. Aquí tienen el mapa. Tenemos Goose Gas Station, que sería esta. Tenemos Post Office, por aquí. Tenemos Hospital. Luego tenemos Department Store, que es este grande, este building, que está bien grande, right? Department Store. Next to the Department Store, we have Citibank. And next to the Citibank, we have Maria's Restaurant. Creo que dice Maria's Restaurant, right? But it's a restaurant. El punto es que es un restaurante. And then we have the movie theater. Across from that, we have the movie theater. Then we have Dance Drugstore. Por aquí tengo el puntero, un puntito rojo, si logran ver. Dance Drugstore. Then we have the Supermarket. Then we have the Second Avenue Bookstore. Right? This is the Bookstore. And let me see. Y sí, solo con eso vamos a trabajar con estos places que les he dado porque son los que más se pueden ver. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes, estimados participantes? Así como hizo Patricita, que ella hizo sus sentences, ustedes van a hacer lo mismo, right? Van a crear sus sentences utilizando las propositions of place que ustedes crean convenientes, ¿ok? Let's work on this, please. Ustedes escogen los lugares, luego solo me van a pasar a decir las sentences. Creemos al menos dos, right? Como mínimo dos, como máximo tres. No lo copia.
If you have questions, you can ask me, okay? If I can, I will help. Okay, Felipe, I see that you finished your sentences. Would you like to tell me your sentences here, please? I, I, I read the, the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. The theater is in front of the city bank. The hospital is next to the post office. Let me see. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Thank you. Somebody else who has finished? Your teacher. Excellent. Tell me, Elizabeth. The city bank is across from the hospital. The post office is it's next to the hospital. The gas station is on First Avenue. All right, very good. ¿Sabe, Elizabeth, en esta, como está en el First Avenue, podríamos ponerle que está en la esquina. Déjeme ver, esta calle corre por aquí. Entonces podemos decir que está en, on the corner of Central Street. Center okay. Street. Right, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Let's see, por aquí vi un chat, alguien, um, sí. Jose Vega, tell me your sentences, please. Okay, number one. The drugstore is next to the supermarket. Uh, the city bank is between of the department store and the restaurant. And the bookstore is on 2nd Avenue. All right, excellent, thank you. 
Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? Me. Okay, tell me. The movie theater is across, across, across from the park. Um, the ghosts, the ghosts gas station is on Central Street and First Avenue. All right. And the baby's drugstore is next to the supermarket. All right. PNG uh, supermarket. <laughs> excellent. Very good, Alvita. Excellent. Sabe que no me había fijado en el park y tiene razón. Muy buena sentence. Excellent. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Excellent. Tell me. Uh, the department store is on First Avenue. It's next to City Bank. The City Bank is on Main Street. Uh, it's between on department store and Maria's restaurant. Very good, Sonia. Excellent. I love it. Thank you. Hi, uh -huh. any other participant? Teacher, puedo saber si está bien lo que la que dice. Yes, tell me, honey. Claro que sí. Uh, the post office is on the corner between Second Avenue and Center Street. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yo más creo. Lisa said que esa sí está bien con el Center Street, pero solo estaría in the corner of Center Street. Uh, the post office is on the corner uh -huh. uh, Center of, Street. Uh -huh, exactly. Of Center Street. That's uh, correct. Of Center Street. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. ¿Tenemos otra, Lisa, o solo esa? Eh, no, solamente, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent, don't worry. Alguien más? The uh, restaurant in the corner. Uh -huh. The supermarket is on the between a bank y office. Mm. Estará bien. A ver, este es el, el supermarket, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, este es el supermarket, Anita. Ese estaría más que todo como next to dance drugstore. Um, bye. Excellent, thank you, very good. Componer. ¿Cómo? Ok, podemos poner, Anita, the supermarket is next to the drugstore. Solo así, simple. También puede poner and the supermarket is across from the shoes store. Porque creo que esta es una shoes store, right? Dice shoes. Así que debe ser una shoes store. También puede utilizar el mismo lugar, pero con una dirección diferente. Ok. Somebody else? Let me see. Ok, Jorge Pérez. Tell me your sentences, please. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Department store is next to City Bank. Mm -hmm. And the City Bank between Department Store and Maria Restaurant. City That's Bank good. is from to the movie theater. That's true. That's true. Thank you, sir. Very good. Very good, all right. ¿Alguien más o empiezo a escoger yo quiénes van a decírmelas? Eh, yo, Mayra. Me. Mayra López. Ok, Mayrita, oh. let's go with Mayra. Y después Kenia creo que quiere participar también. Vaya, ese yo lo puse así como pregunta, ¿verdad? No sé si está bien. Eh, uh -huh. Vaya, sí. Um, como dice, ¿dónde está la gasolinera, verdad? Puse, where are... Where are is the gas station? Entonces dice la respuesta. The gas station is on the ski. O sea, en la esquina, ¿verdad? And on the corner of, of the... Ah, ah, pues sí. On the... Perdón, ¿dónde? ¿Cómo me dijo? Para decir en la esquina, 
Vamos uh -huh. a decir on the corner of. Ok. On the corner of. Ah, vaya. Ahí está bien. Uh -huh. On the corner of. T parking. Eh, T parking of T Fields Avenue. Creo que está bien. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Le ayudo. Cuando decimos on the corner of, tenemos que poner una calle, básicamente, right? Uh -huh. O una avenida. En este caso tenemos First Avenue y también tenemos Center Street. ¿Cuál de estas dos cree usted que le pega más a la Goose Gas Station? Mm, Center Street. Center, exactly. Center Street. Street, exacto. Entonces usted puede poner, si gusta, puede poner eh, The Goose Gas Station, porque Goose es el, el dueño de la gasolinera, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. uh, gas station is on the corner of the center street. Corner. Mm -hmm. The center street. Okay. Center street. Ah, center street. Mm -hmm. Very good. Está bien. And Gracias. Thank you for participating. Let's go, Kenya. Let's see. Okay. The department is corner of the First Avenue y the City Bank quiero ver no the department next to the City Bank y the theater across from Maria Restaurant. All right, excellent. No se le olvide el is porque si no It's, no me, no me ah, está okay. diciendo. Right? Okay. ¿Dónde está? Excellent. Thank okay. you, Kenya. Pero están muy bien. Excellent. Thank you. All right, everybody, with this, we're going to finish the practice for today's class and also the, well, today's class, all right? I will see you on Monday. It was a pleasure to be with you. And let's try to work during the weekend, all right, in section three. Okay, el día lunes vamos a continuar con la section three, ya para finalizarla, y el martes vamos a hacer el midterm exam, all right? All right, everybody, see you next okay. week. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Good night. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Good night.